Hi guys, Andy here. Um, I get requests every now and then, just uh, people ask about what the different things are on my phone basically, so uh, every now and then I'll do a bit of a walkthrough of everything, everything that I have installed and everything that I use regularly. I'll try and move quite quick, make use of the pause button if you need to look things up. I will drop as many links down at the bottom of the things that I talk about and reference so you can check there for downloads and such. So the ROM's actually a stock um, Nexus 5 ROM but I do have the bricked kernel installed um, with something called K-Control. So you get, I like this, it tells you how compatible all the different features are. The only things I don't have is color control and sound control. Um, but everything else is compatible. In the side there we've got the different options. Now the reason I went for this ROM was double tap to wake, which is enabled. Um, whoopsie daisy. If I turn the screen off, can turn it on with a double tap. There's another setting where you can turn on with a swipe across the screen or you can have both. It doesn't, well, I've not yet really seen how it affects the battery. I've heard it will, obviously it's going to increase it a bit because it's got a monitor for the double tap, um, but I don't think it'll be too bad, hopefully. Okay then, so the general layout, you'll notice at the top I've got a centre clock and I've got a percentage for the battery instead of the icon. That's a simple file that was flashed through recovery. I use uh, TWRP, Team Win Recovery Project, I think. Um, they're on version 2.6.3.4, I believe. Um, so yes, yeah, a simple zip file that you flash. Again, link will be below. Make sure you pick the right one. My ROM, because it's a stock ROM, is Odexed. And then I wanted the center clock with the battery and no icon. But there's loads of different options, so, so go ahead and choose those. Um, I use Nova Launcher. It's actually the Prime version, which costs £2.60. Uh, the other option might be Apex. Um, there's, there's a few other launchers out there. I'm quite a long time Nova Launcher user. Of, uh, I'm generally quite happy with Nova Launcher. The text icons at the bottom, people often want to know about. They're actually uh, minimal, uh, minimal text icons, which again, I'll drop the download link at the bottom. You can find a variety of apps on the, on the Play Store which will do the same sort of thing. Um, for example, simple... Text. If I just put simple text icon, you know, there's there's so many that will just help you create little text icons at the bottom there. Then also the actual icons for the apps themselves is hollow icons. You'll need, you will need a particular, something like Nova or Apex to be able to apply those. One of the other things I did was change the um, DPI of the screen, which makes things slightly smaller. So I use ROM Toolbox Lite. I go to Performance, Build Prop Editor. It's going right the way down near the bottom. RO, SF, LC Density. And you just change that. So I changed to 400. It was, I think, 480 is the default. And that just makes everything a little bit smaller. Okay, onto the actual widgets on the screen. The one at the top that people often ask about is just smooth calendar widget. You get quite a few different options when you go into the settings um, where you can have the icon showing. You can have it go to, oh, there's two different, I I've got two different widgets. Interesting. Um, so that's Smooth Calendar. The one that's up here is a, is a UCCW widget, so you will need UCCW installed, which is the ultimate creative, I think it used to be a clock widget, so, but now it's just really ultimate something widget creator. The widget itself is Minimalist Weather UCCW skin, cost me 55p, but I quite like it. It's got different hot points. I can go into Timely when it eventually loads. Come on from my clock. I'm going to the calendar. I can tap there to update the weather as you just saw and I can tap there to open the weather app of my choice. Uh, then on this side we have TV show favs, by far my favourite TV show monitoring app. So it's not about watching TV, it's about monitoring. I, I keep, uh, you can either see what's upcoming, what's been on recently, or what I still need to watch. So I've got a to-do list. So when I've when I've watched a show, it's happened, I can just mark watched or I can go to an episode and it gives me information about that episode. Um, it's generally a really handy app. 
So I can see all of all of my shows here. I select which ones appear in the to-do list. Some of them I kind of just might want to monitor. Um, I can tag things, so if someone recommends a show to me, I can I can put a recommended tag on it. Don't have to actually add it to my list just yet. So generally all around fantastic app, really nice looking widget. Um, we've come across, across this, say. It's Google Now, Google Music, and um, Beyond Pod. I really like Beyond Pod as uh, far as podcast players go. This one's £4.49 for the premium version, but I just love it. I think the, it, there's no other ones that do quite what it does. And the main thing is the smart list. So I've got my different feeds and it automatically updates them for me every every night at 4 a.m. in the morning. And then it builds what's called a smart playlist. So I give it priorities. I tell it which ones are more important and it sort of ranks them. So I can say, right, I want to hear the newest sports podcast or I want to hear the newest of this particular feed. Um, oops. And it will create me my playlist each night. Other apps that are worth a mention, I won't go into detail. Better battery stats are really good for narrowing down what's burning up your battery. End of Mondo, I've got the pro version I use for sort of tracking my fitness regime. Um, Falcon Pro is my favourite Twitter client, JFit or JFit. Again, I've got the pro version for monitoring my work in the gym, recording reps and weights and all that kind of thing. Um, regularly, I just love because it reminds me to do things. Things I should do, you know, every couple of weeks I should clean the car, whatever. I can put it in and it reminds me, you know, you know, cut your hair every six weeks. I know you should remember these things and you see my hair's long, I'll go and cut it. But it's good to sort of see oh, how long until I should be uh, changing my bedding on, on the bed. I don't know, anything like that for, for someone like me that's, that's not good at remembering these things or gets lazy. Timely, we saw briefly earlier. Zbox, a great app for just checking what's on TV at the moment, what's popular, what people are watching. Um, and then if we move through, I'll let you see each screen. Again, you can use the pause button to, to check. Feel free to ask me questions if you see something you're wondering what it is. Um, LastPass is a great app. It links, well, you set up an account so you can use it on your browser, on your computer, and basically stores all of your passwords and things, decrypt, encrypted, etc., etc. Um, what else? SwiftKey is my keyboard of choice. Um, and Waze is gradually taking over as my navigation app of choice. Really quite handy uh, uh, app, app navigation app. So there we go. Please do feel free to ask questions. I'll try and stick as many links down below as I can. But let me know if you're not sure of anything or uh, there's something else you want to know. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.